point had gotten released. I had this on override at one time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So it's kind of a messed up situation here. It's really loud inside that chiller yard. So I'm talking to you now before I go in there. But at the end of the day, one chiller is completely down due to leaks and EXV issues. And the other chiller for that building, only one circuit is running because there's an EXV issue that won't let the, the, this other circuit run. So they've, they've literally got half a chiller running an entire building. Now they complain saying that there's some alarms. We're gonna look and see, but as long as that one circuit is online and charge is looking okay, there's not much else we can do. Who is bright? All right. Yeah, that don't work. That is our, that's our entering is 55. Yeah, so circuit B here is down. Circuit A. Only two compressors are running. All the, uh, all the condenser fans look on. Motormaster is running. We got a 54, a 55, a 53, 54, 55, and 53, okay? So I come up here, uh, 53 is compressor failure, high pressure switch. Now something I've had issues with here is uh, the condenser fans are common to fail. And also the relays in here, they will trip on high pressure, but the problem will actually be these little relays will be the main problem. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go up and check the fans, make sure all the fans are online. And then I'll, I'll reset the alarms, make sure all the circuits, uh, or make sure the head pressure looks okay with the alarms cleared. If they do, so if, if we're not actually having a high pressure issue and the fans are all running, I'm gonna condemn these relays and we'll come in here and replace them and that will that will eliminate our alarm problem. So all the fans are running. So this one is slow. Woo. These are like that because of the motor masters. Which actually, those are spinning backwards to begin with. I don't like that. That motor master must be wired backwards. We probably need to switch two wires there. But this should be circuit A fans. And this should be circuit B. Because it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. So odds are circuit A even to circuit B on these particular chillers. Alright, the fans are good. I'm gonna cycle power or cycle the controls, clear the alarms. I'm gonna hook up a high pressure gauge and see what we look like. All right, I'm gonna leave that off for a second, and then we'll turn that back on. So this will cycle the controls. This reset button is for the GFI boards. This is not actually a reset for the controls, by the way. Uh, all right, so that's recycling that. Why is building B chillers not on? Hello. Are they satisfied? They were on when I walked up, I thought. Yeah, it's not calling. 
65. Freeze protection. Low cooler flow. Huh. That would be a pump issue. Uh. Or we've got set point too low. Ah. Uh, set point's turned down. Let's turn that back up. So this is the set point control for the chiller itself. So you adjust this dial. These may not be quite perfect, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, but regardless, uh, yeah. We're gonna let that cycle. This is the chiller. So on, on the other building, part of the, the whole bigger picture dilemma here, the other building, chiller one, is the only one running, and it's most of its capacity there is some charge issues and things on the chiller but it's, it's mostly working chiller two on that building though is completely down all of this is slated for replacement so that'll be coming in the coming days but uh yeah yep 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 so we'll be doing those here soon those will be some fun videos to do but in the meantime Let's get this gauge on. I left my low pressure probe at a building the other day. I need to go back and get it. This circuit will be turning on here in a few minutes. I'll be able to check the head pressure. Uh, or this is circuit A. And obviously we have them labeled too, but this is circuit A. I need to also verify the sight glass. Make sure that it's actually clear. All right, so it just came on. So I need to switch over and uh, check those pressures. All right, so right now we're at one compressor on. We look okay. Now the sight glass does appear to have cleared as of right now. We should be getting close to having stage two compressor turn on. We've got two out of the four circuit A compressors running. Still really happy with our head pressure. This is R22. We just brought on compressor three. We can get a probe on this. Let's see what our subcool is doing. So far, I'm really happy. If we continue to run like this, I'm gonna condemn those relays. I've, I've chased my tail a long time on these chillers. And uh, those relays have been consistent issues for me. So we'll just go through and we'll probably do all four of them on circuit A be done with it. And that's our pressure, it looks great. The super heat feels okay. Uh, now I haven't actually hooked up gauges and stuff, but you can feel on the, uh, the, on the body of these Carlisles and they will feel warm or cold to the touch depending on how the superheat is doing so if the superheat is good they'll be kind of a neutral to slightly cool to the touch they don't they shouldn't be cold and they shouldn't be hot if they're either of those that's an immediate indicator that something is going wrong with the superheat as of right now they, they feel perfect just by the touch of the hand which that only gets you so far Again, that's just kind of a, an estimated feel. Yeah, that's it. Comes from experience. It's been running long enough. Bringing one more compressor on isn't going to take us into an extreme state. Right now, it is. Where, let me find out what the outside air temp is. It shows to be 80 degrees right now. So that puts us at about 26 on saturation. Perfectly happy with it. It's actually doing really well for these. Uh, these condenser coils are so beat up that we have a hard time keeping the head pressure uh, under control. So I'm really happy to see a 26 set uh, 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 differential from saturation to ambient. Anyway, one more compressor isn't going to cause any problems. We might get up to 30 degrees split. So, our problem is those relays. Again, I've worked on these long enough, just take my word for it. If the fans are good, they're not having issues. 
and you turn it on and you're not seeing immediate head pressure problems, 90% of the time, the compressor control relays in the main panel down at the bottom, that's going to be your primary issue. So we're going to condemn those here. Let me uh, call the customer and let them know what's going on. And uh, we need to go look at that other chiller. It should be back online now. All right, so it is online. Calling for stage one. Didn't have any alarms. Okay, yeah, it's got it under control. It's got it under control. Cool. I'm pretty sure the problem with this one set point was too low we'll go check the pumps now though just to make sure they look okay but I'm pretty confident they're not gonna be an issue so here are our pumps this is building B yep we look good building C both of them are running okay they look good we can do a quick rotation check so they should be spinning this way yes yes it's good Good bearings in this one sound a little rough. Our makeup water looks fine. We're not having to make up right now. Looks fine. I'm fine with all the pressures. Okay. So we look good here in the pumps. Uh, I don't think our, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure the issue was the set point on the chiller. So the customer has elected to get a price on those relays uh, and it's just they're trying to save as much as they can they're they're these chillers are done they're on their way out they're getting ready to replace them so i'll take and reach out to the supply house i mean really insignificant cost they're not expensive but again they're just they're really not wanting to spend their money in this particular scenario they're, they're going to trip every few days is my experience maybe once or twice a week and uh they'll have to come out just reset them and reset them and, and until they either decide to replace them or, or they get the chillers replaced one or the other not so fast so i was getting ready to leave when i heard chiller two cycle down and it sounded weird to me so i went back and looked and it said that uh chiller was off on automation call on the start stop so it's a 26 code on that particular one I go to the pump and verify the pump for that chiller had also cycled down which automatically told me the automation uh, was not set properly so because that other chiller is down so because chiller one is down completely these do lead lag and they switch every week well this lead uh, point had gotten released I had this on override at one time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and override oops override this back to two make it permanent okay and the purple means it's overridden and so it's going to cycle two back over as lead and I can monitor it from here and make sure that it does so and that will uh, take care of that issue so that because right now what's happening is the water it doesn't bring the lag chiller on until the uh, the leaving water temp gets above a certain set point so when the chillers can no longer main maintain leaving water or supply water uh, which you can see it's an alarm here uh, it brings the other chiller on so It'll take a minute to respond here and the logic to do all of its timing sequences and so forth. But that's that's part of the issue. Then it probably generated the call too for today 
is Chiller 1 was trying to run and lead, and Chiller 1 doesn't run. So Chiller 2 was only getting the water temp down to like 50, 55 degrees, and that was it. And you can see Chiller 2 is just now coming on. We got the valve opening, so we're doing uh, flow and pump. Uh, so we're doing circulation uh, delay timer first. That'll be about a three to five minute timer. And then we'll see uh, chiller two enable, go to on, and that'll enable that chiller. And you'll start to see, yeah, they've already killed the signal for chiller one. The uh, chiller starts, or the, the pump and chill water valve will close here in a minute. This will take care of that. Like I said, having this in an override will make sure that they don't have any, any issues on that going forward.